Yeah, there's definitely more strength on the Lumina Smart Glasses. Plus, we got the extra battery strength, uh, long lasting life as well. So, there you go. Welcome to LJP Tech Channel. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Make sure you press the bell button as well. Now, I present to your host, LJP Tech. So a company called Lumona kindly sent me their smart glasses for me to review. I cannot see the model number on it, so I presume this is their first model. Now, um, when you say smart glasses, some might expect some visual display effect as well. This one actually comes with blue light protection function. So that's something that you could add on as a benefit. But other than that, it's mainly sound and also the frame, um, a modular system. So in other words, it actually is designed so that you could quickly change the frame to other lenses. If you want to change it to sunglass uh, function, then you just quickly twist it out and take it in. I mean, these smart glass that you use solos for a few years, uh, this actually is a module system as well, but it's kind of a bit tricky. You have to press the button firmly and then take it out and then put it in. So they're both similar category on that way, but this certainly comes with a uh, longer lasting battery life as well. So that's really good because I did actually notice Solo's smart glasses. Uh, if you use it fully, it will only last for about a few hours, while as this one, I think is going to last much longer. And also, I'm hoping the sound quality is going to be better than uh, Solo smart glasses. So by now, you will notice now I'm going to make a direct comparison between uh, Solo smart glasses that I've been wearing for many years and the newly released Lumina smart glasses regards to sound, the frame design, and also the bulkiness and etc. So before we get into that, let's get into the unboxing. So. Here it goes. All right, so let's slide it out. Nice logo, Lamuna. And then if you actually take out the top, brilliant. So what we have here is the actual main uh, combined unit. And I think this is a spare lens, that modular unit that you could take out and fit in. Uh, but before we get into this, let's actually see what's inside the rest of the stuff. So if I were to pull it out, Nice, what is this? Wow, I thought it was part of the case, but it actually is the pouch or the case. So that's very clever, well done for that. Uh, so that's how it works, isn't it? Uh, this is the smart glasses, um, basic instruction, I have to say. So please do pause, zoom in to find out what this is all about. Okay, and then the rest is the cloth for cleaning your lenses. And so this is the charger. Okay, so there, it comes with two parts into a USB-C. So you need to connect both of ends to be able to charge it, okay? So let's look into the actual unit itself, shall we? So if you were to take it out, you can see that there's a seal on it. So I think someone deliberately peeled it off a bit, knowing, letting you know that it needs to come out. That's very good. And also the actual frame itself, you can see that that is certainly um, bigger, chunkier than Solo's uh, smart glasses. So if we were to, place it next to each other. You can see that clearly there is a huge uh, like difference on design wise and uh, thickness as well. Actually, this frame on the top is the same, but we got this extra transparent uh, that goes along. I mean, the Solo Smart Glasses, the good thing about it is that you could bend this for the adjustment, suitable for the shape of your head. This one doesn't have that, but it has a better battery life. Now, it seems to, turn on these two each end by itself as a separate unit. Um, and I'm sure it works together as one unit, but wow, look at that speaker itself. That's a huge upgrade comparing to the Solo Smart Glasses that I've been using because Solo Smart Glass, if you look at it, is actually quite tiny. So the sound, I presume, 
that the Lamuna smart glasses will be far more superior. So that's really exciting indeed. Also better battery life. So those are the essence that I like about this smart glasses. So in regards to the modular fitting, all you need to do is uh, twist it this way and then you take it out, okay? So this is how it's built. So yes, yeah, so you can see there's a bit of a hook there, an L shape. And then if you were to take it out, uh, the other side as well. So please do follow this line here, twist, and then take it out. Then you will be able to swap it with the other one by doing the opposite. So you just slide it in and then turn. Okay. And then another one, which is just slide it in and turn. So you got a new pair of uh, smart glasses that is set up. So that's very simple. So the sample unit itself, I receive uh, seem to show that I got a different size. I think this is particularly for women and this is for men, guys like me with big head. But anyhow, if I were to take this seal out. Okay, so is this a sunglasses as well? We'll find out. All right, so it has a bit of a tint on it as well. So not only it's bigger, than the given um, standard smaller lens, but it also has a sunglass kind of effect, I have to say. This one certainly is a blue light protection. You can see a bit of a tint on it, while as this one is for sunglasses. So the other thing I wanna highlight is that it seems to have this sensor here and here on both ends, some sort of like a dot, and also here and the other side as well. What I did notice is that it just, uh, doesn't have a particular button, uh, just like solo smart glasses in some way. But if I were to place this on here, it will actually turn off by itself that I noticed, which is very clever. So the Bluetooth is all set up. It's pretty straightforward. You just need to connect it via Bluetooth settings. So uh, let's try it on and test the sound, shall we? So this is Utopia by Ashitosh. So here it goes. That's not bad actually. That's pretty good. I mean, the beats is kind of breaking and weak a bit, but um, if you bear in mind that this is not a proper earbud and it does the job. Wow. That's a huge upgrade I have to say, definitely. So um, I think if you press the front side of the frame, that's when you can actually stop, yep. So, in, on the instruction, it says the touch control is that has no button ensuring that the experience is at as least intrusive as possible. It makes a lot of sense. So mainly the control will be done uh, through uh, your smartphone. Uh, but if you want to pause, quick pause or actually play, you just need to press the front side of the frame to regain the control and also um, to pause the music as well. So that's very clever indeed. Yeah, there you go. So that's, I think that's the only function that actually button that you have on the smart glasses itself. And I guess if someone calls, you'll be able to press the same button to answer the call. I'm not sure whether the Google um, actually function works, but let's try it on, shall we? So, hey Google. Brilliant. So that, that actually works as well. So that's perfect. So on my left hand side, I got the Lumina smart glasses and on my right hand side, I got the Solo smart glasses simultaneously connected on a maximum volume. So we're going to listen to the same music. So here it goes. Okay, so Solo smart glasses uh, Bluetooth connection seems to be slightly quicker. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, that's very interesting. Suddenly the, um, the sound is now synchronized as time goes by. That never happened. Anyway, the beat sound on, clearly on the Lamuna uh, smart glasses is stronger uh, than the Solo smart glasses. But Solos is quite impressive actually, I have to say for, because it's actually um, at least two or three years old, you see. Yeah, there's definitely more strength on the Lumina smart glasses. Plus we got the extra battery strength, uh, long lasting life as well. So 
There you go. Yeah, that's great. So the lip sync wise, uh, there's no delay whatsoever. So it's not really going to annoy you at all. That's very good, actually. Um, so you can see that Tucker Carlson's lip is actually synchronized with the sound. So no concern whatsoever with the delays. Well done. So I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the Lumina smart glasses. Actually, the way how the modular works is really good. The hook shape, you just need to twist and pull it out and then you replace it with sunglasses lens or the blue light protection lens uh, on and off when you're out about or if you're at work and then uh, you're good to go. So that's very good. And especially the sound quality, clearly I can see that it's better than Solo Smart Glasses. The connectivity Bluetooth seems to be pretty much the same. Even though Solo Smart Glasses head off quicker in the early stage when I was listening to the music, then later on in the middle of it, they were actually in the same uh, sort of speed. So I don't know what happened there, but um, I think they're in the both uh, same Bluetooth connectivity level. Now, uh, the strength of this again is the battery. This I believe will last up to 10 hours so that um, you could actually wear this at work take phone calls and also listen to any of the YouTube or music and it's very practical for the use uh, for your office environment or let's say if you're relaxing at home. Unfortunately, solo smart glasses actually have a very, you do, do get this feel of the very limited battery capacity for long-term use. And if you, that actually makes you wonder if you actually could have up to 10 hours of use, this is, practically better than the Sony Link Buds because I believe Sony Link Bud was designed for people with discomfort of plugging into your ear hole. That's true, but I believe this is also supposed to be designed so that you're aware of the surrounding sound. But in fact, the Link Bud, the sound wave, the way how it actually intrudes, it actually enters to your ear hole, seems to distract your surrounding sound. While as this one, uh, the smart glasses has a great benefit. You are completely aware of what's actually happening around you while you can listen to uh, your music or YouTube videos and so on. Obviously the sound quality link bud will be much better, but for the practicality where you actually could simultaneously uh, be interacting with your surrounding environment, I would say definitely recommend uh, smart glasses like Lamuna. So I hope this video clarify what this product is and I really like it. The quality is really good. I like the transparency. Um, the only thing that I have to give credit to Solo Smart Glasses is that it has this rubbery kind of twist that could readjust on the back of your ears, but I don't think there's going to be a much problem with that end. But anyhow, if you have any queries, please do comment below and I'll be more than happy to come back to you. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.